Hello everybody. The Warriors and Kings played a playoff intensity preseason game, which had a wild ending. Steve Kerr drawing up the play on a clipboard. That doesn't stop Chris Paul from scooching over and starting to teach from the clipboard. I think he's looking at Wiggins off screen over here. He's even got the lecture finger going. The Warriors have run this play before against the Bulls when Damian Lee hit the game winner. One screen for the shooter here. If that's not open, then Steph's screening here is going to peel back and he's going to get a rescreen. So that's the heart of the play. One screen for Wiggins, second screen for Wiggins, Wiggins curls around the screen, Steph turns around, and is the second player to take the screen. Here the defender jumps out to prevent the inbounds to Steph. Damian Lee, honorary warrior for life, quickly flows this into a give and go get action. Damian Lee just rises up. All right, same play, different personnel. This time Clay is the one who takes this stagger screen, curls around the screen from Steph, good screen from Sharaj, really making Keegan Murray take the long way, which forces Darren Fox to jump way out to stop the pass going to Clay. Sharaj, the second screen for Steph. Davion Mitchell staying in Steph's underwear. Davion Mitchell ends up on the ground. Fox collapsing on Steph. Demontis Sabonis, probably too far away to affect the shot, but definitely sending bad vibrations at Steph is a pretty open shot. Dario Saric trying to find that balance between looking for his own shot and also recognizing that he plays on the same team as Steph Curry. It felt like there were a couple of other plays when he turned down open shots in order to turn it into a dribble handoff to Steph or Clay. So he says, well, nobody ever got fired for throwing the ball to Steph, so here you go. Davion Mitchell does a good job getting back up and contesting this. Steph has to do the sidestep. The spacing is a little bit tragic here. Feels like one of these guys should cut through because Fox can now help easily on Steph. Since Chris Paul is an evil super genius, probably he's in the right place. Anyway, Steph being Steph gets this shot off. <laughs> Did he call bank? There was a super long challenge. Let's see how the new guy Chris Paul is doing. There he is, and he <laughs> is in fine form lecturing Andrew Wiggins. So the Warriors have another chance to win this game. They're going to go with another classic game-winning play. We saw this play famously when Steph hit his first literal buzzer beater against the Rockets in 2022. There's a lot of decoy action that's meant to keep defenders from sending help defense at Steph. First we have one shooter flaring away. This shooter goes baseline also. Take a defender away. After the screen up top, this guy heads for the corner and a simple inbounds to Steph who steps out. This defender has to go to the weak side. This defender has to follow along the baseline. In theory, these defenders could step out and help on Steph, but it immediately flows into two-man split cut over here. Jordan Poole, remember that guy? Whatever happened to him? Sets the back screen, which means these two defenders are busy talking about how to defend the split cut, and that leaves Steph on the wing with a lot of space and just going one-on-one -on -one with the defender. A little ball fake, showing the ball to the right, immediately going left. Steph gets around his defender, and nasty step back. Back to 2023. Same play, different people. Moses Moody flaring out, pulling one defender with him. Clay on this side is going to swing the other way. So this defender has to follow on the baseline. This defender has to go to the weak side. Steph will pop out and take the inbounds. And then just to occupy these two closest defenders, we have split cut. Clay setting the back screen for CP3. These defenders are definitely communicating. So now Steph has a lot of room. He's got a whole hemisphere, Darren Fox. Not a bad defender, but he's just too short to really bother Steph's shot. Steph shows the ball left, goes right, and with a step back. And that is a lot of room for Steph Curry. All right. Time for a careful audit of the bench celebration. First, premature celebration check. All right, you can really tell who the youngsters are and who the veterans are. Draymond, way ahead of the crowd, arms up, throwing up the threes, clearly before the shot goes through. And the next player to react, Corey Joseph, another veteran. He doesn't have Draymond levels of prematurity, but Draymond's like already ready to storm the court. But Corey Joseph does throw up the OK3, okay acceptable. GP2, in his own low-key way, is already celebrating. He's got his arm out. Everybody else is new to this whole situation. 
So they are actually waiting for the ball to go through the net. What a rookie move. The new guy, Saric, the arms in the air, like you just don't care. I like this though, he throws in a little double-sided fist pump to his forehead. Ooh, nice clutching. I like that, it's got emotion to it. And dismount into two fists high in the air. I think this is acceptable. Trace Jackson Davis is somewhere between a Usain Bolt and like a Hunger Games archery thing. Like he definitely draws the arrow back. So this is actually kind of a, an innovation on this team. Oh yeah, he can see him let go of the bow with his hand, with his, with his draw hand. Good attention to detail from the rookie. I told you I have an irrational good feeling about this guy. Draymond definitely gets points for enthusiasm. He's got the two-sided threes on the side and then also going for a I'm constipated but the fiber is doing wonders kind of effect. 